Hey guys, it's Kine. Welcome back to my channel. As I'm sure you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be another wig styling tutorial. I recently got this package in the mail from Donna Love Hair. They sent me this like kind of grayish, blondish wig. They also were the company that sent me um, the purple wig that I styled a few videos back. I don't really know how to describe the color of this because from far away it almost kind of just looks like a regular blonde. But if you look up closely, it's so many different colors. It, there's some white in here, some gray, some like honey blonde. I really, really like it because of all the different colors in it. And I can also tell that the lace, I don't know if it's hand plucked, but it's just finer than most wigs are, which I really appreciate. So let me just try this one on for you guys so you can see how it looks straight out of the bag. I really, really like this hair. It's one of those wigs where I don't even really want to style it because it just looks so good straight out of the bag. It is a little bit shiny looking, which you can kind of tone down with some dry shampoo or baby powder if you want it to look less wiggy, but... I'm just a wiggy person. I think I'm gonna style this into a high ponytail, which I haven't done yet on my channel. It seems like it would be a style that's easy enough to do on your own because if you have normal hair, then you can just pull it up into a ponytail. But there's a bit of an art form and style to doing it on a wig like this one, so let's jump into it. So the trick to styling uh, any type of like updo or ponytail in the wig is to pin it down really tight. So I'm gonna put this over my little wig head and then usually you'll see in my videos I have like a piece of white like ribbon running on the hairline. It's actually just twill tape and the purpose of this is to kind of evenly distribute the pressure on the head and then put sewing pins right through it into the lace and into the wig so that the wig doesn't move. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it's actually a new purchase of mine. I got this little velvet cushion to keep all of my sewing pins in. I always see little cushions like these when I watch sewing tutorials and I thought I'd get one for myself because they look really cute. I used to just put all my sewing pins in like a tin can but it's much more convenient to get at. So I just wanted to show you. And I just realized, oh my god, it says made in the Philippines on the back. My people. All right, so now that we've pinned down the hairline of the wig, which is usually I stop here, but since this is a ponytail, I want to pin down the back of it too. The reason why is because when we put it into a ponytail, all the hair is going to be pulled tight into a big knot, so I won't be able to stretch down anymore. So I want to stretch it down now so that later on, I'll be able to pull the wig down to cover my hairline in the back. So I'm going to get a little hair tie and put it into a little sloppy ponytail first, just to get it up out of our way. At the back of every wig, you should be able to find a little strap like this. I'm gonna pull it down as far as I can, almost to the bottom of this wig. And then to keep it in place, since it's a little heavier and it has that elastic that's giving it a lot of resistance, I'm gonna use a stronger pin, these little pearl head ones that I use to put in my rollers. Putting one on both sides for a total of two pins down there to really keep it in place. All right, so now that the wig is secured on the, both the front and the back, we can get to styling. So I'm gonna do the hair in a couple of different sections, so I'm not gonna put it all up into a ponytail at once. That way I just have more control over it if I'm just working in little sections at a time. All right, so this hair here is just the bangs that I've tied off. I'm taking the hair up there and I'm gonna start putting it into that ponytail. And you wanna work little by little, taking a brush or comb or whatever and then brushing it into your hands so that there's no lumps in the hair. Now I'm going to put all of this hair up into it. Like I said, just working little by little, brushing each little strand into your hand so that there's absolutely no lumps in the hair and it's just nice and sleek. So now that most of the hair is in my hands, I'm going to take my little hair tie and then put it up. I'm actually using these new hair ties. I got these at Gen Beauty. They're from a company called, what is it called, Gumi. They look like this. They are kind of like those keychains that you use. They said that they work really well, so I'm, I'm trying them out. Alright, so now that most of the hair is in that ponytail, I'm going to take out this front hair and join that into it. And I'm actually going to use a second ponytail for this, so don't bother worrying about having to fit it in with that first elastic. Just put it up into your hands, like so, and smooth it in. Alright, so now I have here, in my other hand, a, another hair tie, so I can join this front hair in with the ponytail that we already have. So I'm going to join them together.
Alright, so this hair is gorgeous and sleek, but I kind of feel like it's looking a little bit blah. So I'm wondering maybe we should tease it a little bit and see if we can get it to be a bit more, I don't know, full and lively. So I'm going to take a little section and then I'm going to backcomb it just like this. I'm not teasing all of the hair. As you can see, there's still this much ponytail that I haven't teased. I just teased a few strands so that it would be a little bit bigger. And then I'm just gonna take that same brush and then softly kind of smooth out the surface. All right, and you can see, kind of zhuzhing it up, that ponytail is a lot bigger and higher now. I'm gonna take a little strand of hair that's in the ponytail and then I'm gonna wrap it around the hair tie to hide it. All right, and then to lock it in place, I'm gonna kind of seal it in with hairspray and then really lock it in with a bobby pin. I'm also gonna put some hairspray in the rest of this ponytail too, so it's nice and big and bouncy. And again, just kind of softly, gently smoothing it out with a brush and kind of zhuzh it up. One final last step you can do if you really want it to be very sleek is to hairspray the front and then brush any flyaways back. That way the hair is just super sleek there and you don't have any kind of strands going everywhere. All right guys, this is a finished wig. Here's what it looks like from like all different angles. If you wanted to, it to be longer and fuller, you could get another wig that's of the same color and then put it over here so that you could get the full length of the wig. I don't have two colors of this hair, so this is just what I had to deal with. I just wanted to show you guys in this video the kind of technique of pulling it up into the ponytail and I wanted to do a kind of sleeker style anyway. I think I'm gonna go put on some clothes and change my makeup and I, I wanna show you guys how it looks when I'm wearing it. All right guys, this is the finished hair. I actually really like it. It's not really my style, I like, Sorry, Ugh. I really tend to gravitate towards the bigger dramatic hairstyles, but it, this is kind of giving me like very biological woman. I didn't really want to do a super crazy style on it anyway, because since it's so new, sometimes it's hard to really get a lot of teasing out of a really brand new wig since it's so soft and silky. Sorry, there is so much noise. You can tell if you like look at this area here, some of my natural hairline is popping through which is not cute. It's part of the reason why I hate wearing ponytails, but if you stretch down the wig in the beginning while blocking it like I told you to, then you should be able to pull down your cap like that and then just bobby pin it in place. If you have a full lace wig or one that's at least a 360 degree frontal, then you'll have lace not just at the hairline, but all the way around. Those are the wigs that are very ideal for doing ponytails because all of this area is gonna be exposed. But if you're like me and you just have a lace front, then you can just pin it down with bobby pins. Now, if you look at it, it looks kind of real, like it's growing out of my head, but don't look too close. Thanks again to Donald of Hair for sending me this wig to stop for you guys, and thanks to all of you for watching and supporting me. I couldn't do it without you. Well, I guess I could, but it just wouldn't be as fun. Check out my Instagram online kind to see some more pictures of this look. I'm always active on my story over there so you can see what I'm up to and what I'm doing days before any of it makes it to YouTube. If you're that obsessed with me, I mean, who can blame you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh.